Hey YouTube, this is John with another exciting video with Meet the Waltons. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing a flume water meter thingy, Jigaboo Bobby. So let's get this unboxed. Alright, let's get this thing unboxed. See what we're working with here. Flume, Get rid of this. Box review. Yoink. Flume. Nice little nifty package. Um, once again, I am not sponsored by Flume. Flume is not paying me for a review. And we got to see what we're working with. Blah blah blah. Same old mumbo jumbo with any YouTube video. But the website is called Flume Water. Oh, God. This one you don't have a pen pen on you. That's okay, a pencil works too. But who needs the stinking box? No one needs the stinking box. Alright, I'm just bumping the camera here. Sorry, I'm in my bedroom. There's a lot of uh, people yapping in the yapping in the. Ah, uh, what the heck? I'm not making love to the box. You have to be nice to it. Just get a little rat. Yeah, here. Don't need that. Let's see what's in the box. Ooh, all fired it up by HT. Oh, this is this is nifty here. Nice little flume. Nice little get up here. This is some kind of a base station. Kind of cool, kind of nifty. Okay. And this is all your accessories. So you got your power supply. You got your. Ooh, they want you to put latex gloves on. That's kind of cool. Wow, you guys really went the extra mile. Extra straps, and I'm assuming that this is for this. Strap it on. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And this is the open up the water thing. I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube. You just put it in the hole, you turn it, and we'll demonstrate that later. But that's what's all that's in the box need that yoink all right so flume so this is the base station this is what um um hooks connects your wi-fi and i'm gonna demonstrate that in a minute um wow i kind of like that they give you gloves cool and then this is the power supply for this so let's go ahead and get everything plugged in and i will be back in a second so, take a picture of that flume. Yeah, cool. All right, we'll be back. All right, so we're back. So let's get this thing plugged in. Let me see what it does. Da, 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 da. Put this in and then we're gonna follow the directions. Plugged in the power. Looks like it's on. Don't want to know what version this is, but we'll figure that out when we load the app up. So, I've got the app up. So, I did fill out some actually things on it already. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and check. But this looks like the Flume 2. So, let me see see how that comes out on the screen so I did fill out my information this is scan the QR code on the bottom all right so I'm gonna do that scan the QR code see how simple this is come on where is that there it goes looks like it found it right on I said success 
and then scan the QR code on the bottom of the thing where it says bottom sometimes you gotta zoom out before you can zoom in come on my screen looks like it found it it says success important it says make sure that it's right next to each other which is it is connect the flume to an outlet I already did that make sure the lights blinking I did that uh, location once go to your Wi-Fi and go to flume so we're gonna go we're gonna go here go to get off Wi-Fi and doesn't say flume. Oh, there it goes. It took a second. Flume, flume bridge setup. So it's connecting unsecured. God, being in IT, I hate when I see it unsecured. All right. So I guess it does want me to go back to the gap. It says connected. All right. Now I'm gonna enter in my Wi-Fi information. And you can't see my password, so I'll be back in a second. <clears throat> Alright, back. You can't see my password. And it says success. Alright, place the devices next to each other. Like really? Um All right, now I guess this is where we have to so I probably went too far this is where we have to actually go outside so maybe I went too far so locate the water heater or uh, water machine so in front of your health there's water all right so it looks like we're gonna be back let's go outside so next you want to find the water meter don't mind the, the green thing and my lovely assistant is going to, you know what, probably take the all of it off. Hope that when it's done right, my lovely assistant's going to help. She's, she's a little teeny bopper. All right, as per the directions. So this is our meter. So this is our meter. It's about three fourths coming in. Alright, get get this get this cleaned up. So cow water. I'll probably edit that out, but cow water and there are bees here. So we're gonna pay attention to the next part of the um, instructions here. It's gonna basically say um, Place your sensor on the meter. Put it on the meter. All right. That's weird. It says place. It says place, but it, but but it also says take a picture of your meter. So how would I place flume? I think you messed up. Or maybe I'm misunderstanding you. It says take a picture. Uh, take a picture of your of your dial. 
Ooh, and a black widow. All right, let me see what else it says. So it says success. So it says, oh, you want to see my ugly face? It says success. So it liked it. Now it says to run a stream of water. So yeah, see, I did it backwards. I was supposed to put the meter on first. So we're gonna back up, we're gonna pause the recording. All right, since my lovely daughter is scared of poison ivy. Okay. Um, you mean to edit that out of the video? Mm -hmm. All right, almost kind of done. All right, she's scared to do I'm it. I'm the one who just brought it around there. Oh, see, she's trying to make herself look feel good. Yeah. Enough. That's probably not good enough. Let me get a. Uh... It's hard because my daughter says there's poison ivy here. And I didn't wear the gloves that came with it. I think that's good. We're gonna leave it like that. Let's see what the app says. The app says go turn on the water. I think that's gonna be good. how easy this is still says setting up could not calibrate so we're gonna retry it we're gonna retry it and see if all right so in ours all we did was like that we didn't even strap it down and it says congratulations we're gonna take that like a win skip this step we're gonna skip the tour and we're going to see if this is really what it says so we have the sprinklers on and we're going to it says wait about two minutes so we'll come back once we get some figures in here all right so after further investigation nothing to get nothing against flume so i had to actually just put it right there um and it did work now it's off so yeah we're gonna play around with this and see if that's the best placement for it but we didn't even strap it down there's no straps in there well yeah the strap is still there but we're gonna make sure that that is um how it should be um to make sure so like i said right now the water's not on at all and it's not moving at all so we're gonna call that a win what do you think yay i put my hands in there for no reason she says all right welcome back fam so this is a review of the flume uh app and let me take you in to the dashboard 
So as of today, um, I've only had it going for about almost a week now. Actually, I put it on Tuesday. Today is Saturday. This is like day five of the video. And then we're just going to video edit and compile it. But let me just show you what's going on for today. So far, as you can see, 100 um, gallons used today. Or 116 gallons used today. Um, yeah, I like this thing. Um, this thing actually works. Um, so if you look at the thing, it shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to say, whoa, 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 John, what are you doing? So what this does, it just gives a breakdown version. Uh, since 9 o'clock this morning, 15 gallons. Um, I was probably taking a shower or something. Um, I don't take long showers. Um, 40 gallons at 10 o'clock. I think my kids were all taking showers or baths or whatever they were doing. Uh, six gallons was probably the toilets. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but, um, this is a cool little, this, this is cool. And you can go into details. Um, so let's see for the week. Um, like I said, you see, I installed it on the 5th of July. Um, and so I was testing it. So that 596 uh, gallons um that was probably the sprinkler since it was my water day um and i was adjusting the sprinklers and then the next day next day and then friday um i was also adjusting the sprinklers um typically friday is not our water day but we are allowed to um assess and fix sprinklers if we think there's something wrong with them and yeah it was running off to the um, sidewalk which I cleaned out the nozzles yeah it was a big pain in the butt so um yeah so that's why you see my usage of 631.6 gallons of water but um other other than that and then you'll see the normal so right now i i guess to fair to say for my family or my household i guess we won't go over 223.6 gallons per day which is awesome and just a little breakdown of how this app works um and it does tell you outdoor watering is <laughs> the majority of my um shows you outdoor watering so i like the app um there's some uh, things that could be done better but it is a ai so it is learning your um movements and it's learning for example my shower head does 0.8 um gallons per minute um so i can i think this app knows kind of what's what toilets like 2.5 gallons it has to make sure it flushes all your your stuff um and yeah and sorry guys i am looking for a better screen recording software for my iphone um i was using this one app and i didn't like it um and it didn't make the files it looked very weird with davinci resolve so i didn't like it so right now i'm just doing it with my little gopro uh can't love the gopros it says shower uh 285 gallons so i mean this bad boy does break it down i don't know if you guys can see that on my screen it looks a little weird but hopefully you guys can see that um but yeah just just a little review of the app uh there's a lot of stuff you can do on here i'm not going to get into everything um but yeah, I, I love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Uh, uh, uh. So just stay tuned. Um, I will have more um, videos for you guys soon. Uh, got my speed editor, my DaVinci Resolve speed editor. I got my monitors and stuff set up. So sorry, got a messy desk. Been doing a lot of uh, side projects. But um, yeah, we need to get in doing some videos. So once again, peace out. Love you guys, and um, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tell me what you guys want to see. Thank you. Bye.